The press pool command in AutoCAD 2013 has been changed to give you some powerful new features. Let's check it out. Here we'll select press pull and select on a face of this mechanical plate. As we see here, press pull operates by default in what's called extrusion mode. And this is how it's always operated before. But as we can see here, that may not have been the desired result. We may have actually wanted the press pull to take into account the chamfers on the edges of the plate. So we'll perform a quick undo and go back and select press pull again. This time, as we select the object that we want to press pull edit, we'll use a control select methodology and we can see what's happening here. As the press pull actually occurs, the chamfer geometry is taken into account. So that's one new feature that you definitely want to check out in press pull. Another update to press pull is the ability to work in multiple mode. What we'll do here is simply select press pull and I'll use control select so that I will get an offsetted rather than an extruded behavior with my push pull as we see here. But now what I'd like to do is bring the chamfered surfaces along with it. So to do that, I have to add them into a set using the multiple option, which we see here in the command line. I now simply click in these faces to add them to the set, enter to finalize the set, and now the press pull brings everything along with it. Notice that it's intelligently sizing the chamfers as it does so. Throughout this entire process, note that you never had to worry about the UCS control. You never had to worry about having any of your UCS surfaces planar to the geometry you're editing, as the press pull command simply took care of that for you. So if you haven't used press pull before, you really should check out this function. And be sure to check out the two new functionalities that we've seen added in AutoCAD 2013, the ability to have an offsetted mode and a multiple mode.